I'm going to be buying us a $1,295 blender. Up, oh, mark down from $1,495. No. Okay, then I am just going to be buying us the SV-1 sous vide immersion circulator head, also on sale. Will you just get off Webster on the shoot, ask the mead maker? I will negotiate with you. If you let me get a Hobart full-size meat slicer, I will shoot, ask the mead maker. That is the dumbest idea I've ever heard. Welcome to Ask the Mead Maker, where I, Ricky the Mead Maker, answer your questions about mead drinking, mead brewing, and really, any question you're willing to send to me. Our first question this week is a video submission from John in Ames, Iowa. So I can't help but notice that you have such fantastic label design for your mead. Where do you get it from, Ricky? Thank you very much for your submission, John. You know very well who designed all of our packaging. It was you. I guess you want everyone else to know also. Yes, this and this and this and this and even the font on this tip jar are your handiwork. So thank you. You do a great job. Since we announced in our last video that we're going to be on tap, it's raised the question in many people's minds. It does not beg the question. That is not what that phrase means. Google that shit. Are you going to be in Growlers? The answer is yes. And they look like this. Our next question is also related to last week's video. Nicole asks, since you said you have edible plants in your growing wall, do you ever use them in meads? Yes, we do. Our sage firkin Friday was made with this sage right here. We cook with the thyme and the oregano, and we are going to be having an episode in the next few weeks about cooking with mead and another one about mixing with mead. Our last question this week comes from Jim, who says, I just tried your ginger bubble, that's our non-alcoholic offering, and I really liked it. Is it available in bottles? Well, while I'm glad to hear you liked it, I have great news for you. No, you can't get it in bottles, and no, you can't ever get it here again. Why is that great news? Because we're going to be switching to Rookie's Root Beer's Ginger Beer, which is loads better than anything we can make in the non-alcoholic vein. We're very excited to be working with this other Vermont company. That's our last question of the week, so I just have to send it over to Ricky with our word of the week. Ricky? Thank you, Ricky. This week's word is polyfloral. Polyfloral is any honey that the bees have gone to many different flower sources, such as apple blossoms and clover and other wildflowers. If you take apple blossom and wildflower and clover honey and blend it yourself, it is called blended rather than polyfloral. Polyfloral is our word of the week and the end of our show. Please keep sending your questions and I will get to them as soon as possible. Cheers.